It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm too set up five, five. Uh -huh. up. The wait is wait, over. Wait, wait, go. Wait. Just kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready. The just Let's kidding go. kids are the best kids, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Are you ready? Everybody, welcome in, welcome in. Happy Saturday. It's 12 5 noon. Y'all know what to do. Go ahead and get your paints out, your paint brushes, your easels all set up. A little bit of water, a little something, something like that, like that. Not too much, y'all. No, y'all don't need to be running around, slicing water all over your belly and all those things and what have you in there for. You know what I'm talking about. So today, we're going to be celebrating Pi Day. You guys, yeah, I know it was last week, but we're going to paint today. And what I did was I clipped out this beautiful, 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 beautiful piece of pie. Cherry pie, my favorite. Yeah, ooh, look at that. Yeah. All right, so sometimes we paint food here. Sometimes we paint portraits. Sometimes we paint cars and dolls. And we do all kind of stuff here. But today we're going to paint this pie. Y'all ready? Yeah, I'm ready too. Go ahead and get everything together. Scooch in. Settle in and let's paint our pie for today. Yeah. So let's talk about Mimi real quick while we set up. Yeah. Why don't we? Hey, Mimi. <laughs>
Uh, all right, I'm just trying to get you guys all set up in here. You know, it's always something when you go live. It's always something, you guys. So this is my thing. Never get discouraged or, you know, let anything keep you down. Just keep moving. And guaranteed, one way or another, you'll get it just the way you want it to. How y'all like that video with Mimi? Yeah, we had a good time on what we call the duo. So, yeah, it's always have fun. Every opportunity that you're able to have a good time, always do. Okay? Yeah, it's part of life, you guys. So, <clears throat> let's get us ourselves set up some more here. What I'm trying to do is get you guys even. I'm hoping that, I don't know. I just don't want it tilted. So it seems to be okay. I don't know how that's going to last, y'all, but we're going we gonna to work it out. All right, so, Pie in the Sky. That's the name of this video. We're not going to be that long. We're going to take a short moment to paint this pie. And what I'm thinking is on, if the pie is on the tray, okay, you can paint it with the tray. You can paint it without. If you want the reference photo for this, you can always email me at 755mediaart at gmail.com and I'll get it right out to you. So today we're gonna use uh we're gonna use some some cornacridone. We're gonna use some bright red. I'm also gonna use some um this is a different cornacridone. This has got a violet in it, it's like a magenta. So we're gonna use that. We're also gonna use a little bit of burnt umber, some raw sienna. Some black, maybe for a background or something. I'm not sure. And maybe some, uh, we're going to need some white as well. So, you guys, let's get into it. I'm going to first start putting down some of my, um, when acronym magenta, I'm going straight for the for the pie area in here. So, you don't want to start off with the red. You want the red to kind of come up on top. But behind the red, you definitely want to use a darker color. So I think that quinacridone would be a great choice. And we're going to mix it up with some, maybe some uh, raw sienna or some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Let's try that. So we're going to get some of this red down, you guys. Mm, I don't have my palette up. Let's, let, I want to put my palette up so you guys can see it. I don't want to paint with my palette being a secret, you know. I want you guys to be able to see every move that I make. And you can... You know, make the same move. So, <clears throat> we're going to scoot this down, bring you over, and put you in the palette behind the pie. Like that. And that way you can see the palette, the pie, and the painting. Deal? Cool. All right. So, let's get started. Uh, quinacridone. It's like a dark, burgundy, reddish color. And it's really a fun color. So, I really like it. I like to say it. <clears throat> Can you guys say quinacridone? Quinacridone. Quinacridone. That's what I was able to see. See if I can get y'all straight. Yeah, I can't see it. That's okay. All right. Put my top back on it. And let's get this layered on in here really quickly. I'm going to use today a flat brush. Any flat brush would do, you guys, but you want to get a medium one, not a really super big one and not a super small one. Just a flat brush, a square brush. It's got a, maybe a little tip or it's very thin. So we're going to use that. Make sure you guys always have a towel handy. I'm going to pull out my towel rack, and I'm going to put my towel right there. I just wipe it off, and let's get into this quinacridone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in between all these little pie crust shapes. And all this pie crust. And just go. And listen, let me tell you something. If you get outside the line, you're going to be just fine. So don't trip on it. Don't worry, okay? So just get in there and get behind all these cherries. Just kind of go around them all. And if you can't go around them all, it's okay. Because it's a pie and it's all messy in there. It's so good to eat, but it's messy in there. So just get in there. Um, I originally wanted to paint the whole thing and then come back and paint the cherries. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have a uh, 
a, a paint that you can see to see through that's opaque like mine. So in case you don't, let's just show you how to do it this way. And you just go around and you fill in all the spaces, right? Now, I'm, I'm seeing how it's looking a little pink on camera. I see that. And this is what it is. It's supposed to be a little pink, but I had promised you we was going to mix it with another paint. So that's what we're going to do. But I just wanted to see, let you guys see. And we're going to lay some of this down by itself because we still want that pinkish effect. So we're just going to lay this down and we're going to come back behind this now. And we're going to add in some more colors because pie is just not one red color on the inside. It's all kind of colors naturally, you know, after it's baked and it's all types of just oozing over flavors in there. So you guys make sure you get a clean fork. And dig into this pie once we're done. I'm telling you, it's going to be delicious. Shout out to all the people over at 755 Media that came over for the kids today. I am broadcasting only directly to the uh, Just Kidding channel, okay? Uh, today, if um, anybody want to come over from the 755 side and check us out, make sure you do, all right? Uh, the, re this, the reason for the recording is I'm going to be doing some um, work with some 755 Media talent over on YouTube. Well, they're not my talent, but there's some YouTube talent that um, that's only on 7, uh, you know, they deal with 755, the adult side. So I want to get this done for the kids side. Then I'll go over to the adult side and do some more art and fun painting over there. Remember when I painted my best friend? I'm going over to her channel and paint. That's what basically what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go over to her channel and paint alongside with her. She's going to invite me up and I'll get to paint. And I'm just going around all these whole cherries pretty much like so. All right. So see, it's already coming together. Look at that. Look, we ain't even been on it five minutes. All right. So yeah, just a little oozing out going on right here. Let's paint the oozy too. Yeah. Just get in there. Just get in there, you guys. And I'm um, trying to keep the cherries looking circular. And this is an oozing out, too. So we're going to get in there and we're going to get that, too. Now, uh, I told you I was going to mix the paint. Let's get into this burnt sienna right here. This is going to add a little darkness, a brownness. Uh, it's going to give us a little, just a little dark color. So they're going to see how that turn out. Because if it doesn't work out, I haven't never painted a pie before. So if this raw sienna, I mean burnt sienna, Mixed with this quinacridone doesn't give us the darkness that we want. And it, and I think it might. Yeah, it just might do it. So we're just going to tap in now, you guys, all around the area that we already painted. Tap in because I want to leave some of that pinkness look. Not all dark. So we're just going to get some. We're mixing these two colors together. And we're making a really nice color here. And we're just going to go around. And I know you can see already on the camera how this is going to, you know, this darkness, this color darkness that I chose to go in there. It's going, you don't have to do it all. Just a lot of it. Do a lot of it, you guys. Um, you can see where it made it, you know, make it a big difference, right? Changing that pinky color into some, more like a cherry red color, right? You know, cherry cola almost, if you must. Okay, so we're just going to get in here, and we're just going to tap in, tap it, tap it. You see, I'm not stroking it. I'm tapping it. I'm going all the way around, you guys. This is what we're going to do. Get our pie looking like yummy, yummy for our tummy, okay? So now, we got that all taken care of. Now, going to let that uh, dry, um, but we can't. We could just wipe our brush off. You don't even have to wipe off. Let's get right into our red. No, I don't want to. I don't want to dry. I'm gonna say the crust for last. Mmm, that's the best, right? So we're gonna get some red and put it up here. This this is gonna be quick, you guys. I'm telling you, it doesn't take long to make a pie. Maybe not. Maybe in real life, but not when you're painting one. Now we're gonna take the red. I did not. I did not rinse, you guys. I just added some red straight onto my brush. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna start hitting this these cherries. Yeah, look at that. It's putting them cherries in there, right? Now, you see how bright they are. That's okay. We're going to work that out. 
because cherry pies don't doesn't look like that. You know it don't. So we're gonna, but we want some of the brightness of the reds to just and you can tap it in some of the dark spots as well. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and paint the entire thing and come back. But I'm glad I worked it out like this. So I'm just taking the side of my brush now. I'm getting fancy with it. I'm taking a side and I'm just smacking them cherries in there like that. Just pop them in there. And we're going to come back when this dry. And then that's when we'll add our highlights and lowlights. Because if we add our highlights, well, we got pretty much lowlights going on here already. But when we add our highlights to it, we don't want to mix our like our light colors with the red because they'll definitely turn them pink. So just fill all of these red spots here, the big ones. In with the bright red using just smash down. We're not painting circles. We're already, we already drew it out. That's it. Okay, so now we're just gonna let this thing. Uh, let me see. Okay, we're gonna put a little there. I'm gonna dab this to dab some more over there. Yeah, like that, like that, like that. Okay, and we'll probably come back a little bit later and add in more. Um, more color to those cherries, right? Okay, so yeah, if you got more paint on your brush like I do, you wanna smash some more in there, just smash around, you can. Go ahead and do it. But as for me, I am going to go ahead and wipe my brush off with my towel, okay? And then I'm gonna rinse it out. Cause I wanna use the same brush, you guys. And rinse it vigorously, rinse it out really good. You guys do such a good job. All right. So now I have on my palette some white. I have some raw sienna, which we use up here. It's the same as here. And I have some uh, burnt sienna. Burnt sienna, raw sienna. And I have some um, raw umber. Y'all know how I love that. Okay. So let's get into this white. Mine's is a little dry. I was painting earlier. So I'm just going to get in here. And I'm going to mix my white with my raw sienna i'm mixing them together and i'm getting this really cool light light color and i got a lot of white on here and that's fine so we're gonna come through and let's just start attacking this pie crust pick a spot okay let's pick a spot and you're gonna attack and you're gonna scrub lay your brush flat down but once again we're working with the uh, the flat brush okay let me see if I can raise you guys up. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, I need to put you guys on something higher. But you can, you can oh, I tell you what, this is what I'll do. Mm -hmm. Take one of my bricks down. These aren't bricks, I just call them bricks. These are pieces of wood that I use to prop up. When it's too low, I want to get it higher. I use those bricks, which which is wooden bricks to me. Okay, so you can do that too on your easel if you have space. Maybe your dad, uncle, mom, sister, or somebody can modify some things on your easel to make it easier for you. Okay, all right. So this crust is going to be delicious. And I also want to tell y'all that I will be using some yellow well, i just threw my brick on the floor <laughs> so i got some yellow let's get some yellow on here too yeah so this is gonna be so much fun you guys i cannot wait and the reason why this crust has got a little bit of yellow you to it a lot of golden crust so we're just going to get some of this yellow mixing in here with this and see how that works for us oh yeah i like that and then we're gonna get some raw sienna and and i got just on the tip of my brush, I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to hit this pie, this pie crust in the areas that that is all, like, the pie crust is, like, flaky, and you have to, you have to get in these nicks and crayons, you got to make squigglies on it, so I want all of you guys to make squigglies on your pie crust, and I'm just going to really make a mess out of this white over here, because it's almost dried up, so I'm just going to try to get as much as I can. Now, when you get down here to your pie, the cherry part of it all, excuse my reach. Sorry, you guys. Uh, my water's way over there, and so it's hard for me to 
I'm gonna have to move it. And uh, try not to get pie crust on your pie, your red part, because it'll you'll start getting a color on there. And I, you know what? The red color is not that bad to add to the pie crust because it go, it's going to give it like a texture. You know, it's going to give it like the va va boom. So don't be afraid to get pie on your on your pie shell, but just not everywhere. You don't want it everywhere. Just to maybe like around where the pie meets up with the cherries, like right here. You can, it don't matter if you get a little, look at that pie, y'all. Come on now. It's already coming together. It's not going to, time to take. That think the background is going to be the, the, the thing that's, uh, I think the background is what's going to really take the longest time. I really do think that, but all right, so we're just going to dip around this pie shell right here like that. We're going to put that little pie shell right there, and then they'll be come on down here like that. All right, why well, I'm talking like this, I don't know. It just make me feel good about this pie, y'all. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's pie day, you guys. Come on. Now, let's have some fun. Stop being all like that. All right, so I'm just going around the edges where the pie meets the cherries at and i'm just tapping it Ta i'm not painting i'm not painting yet i'm just tapping this whole time i'm doing the tapping method here okay so we're just painting and painting and this is supposed to be red too so i messed up where i didn't put no cherries all the way in there so just go all around all around the cherries just going around because if you're gonna get red on there you might as well go on and knock it on out right and so, yeah, just going around, come on up here too, in this little situation, what have you using there for us? You know what I'm saying? Come on down, huh? Get that too. And look how long this paint has been on my breath. I'm using every bit of paint that even that's gone deep down where it shouldn't be. And that's my ferro. I'm getting it all out of there. And I'm tapping and I'm still tapping. And I'm kind of smashed in a couple of places, my brush down on the canvas to get some of that paint to come out of there, okay? So now I'm about to run out of paint. I'm just about to run out of it. So I'm gonna come back in here and I'm just gonna scrub around and I'm gonna get some more of it. I'm gonna just bring it back over here. Now this particular little part right here uh, has more white in it than yellowish color, but it's still working for me. And I wanna bring this, this cherry all the way across like that. That's why I'm leaving that white. I'm gonna come back and get it. So, you know, if you ever make mistakes, you guys already know you can always go back and get them and get it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get some of the, I'm just going to dab into this here, raw sienna, and now I'm going to come through and I'm going to tap some more all around this painting, all around in here. And, and what I'm doing is adding the crust that's super baked. Like, yeah, this is where, this is where the, uh, where the oven really was hot. Starting to get that crust to turn golden brown. It's starting to turn a little bit too brown. So I'm going to get some yellow and I'm going to bring it off in there and I'm going to tap that yellow around and I'm going to mix it in. Don't worry. Just tap it in for right now, you guys. Let's get some. I'm going to wet my brush again and I'm trying to get that, that white. Try not to waste paint, you guys. That's what I'm trying not to do. But if you, you don't have to. You can put down some white. Go ahead and put you some white down. So I'm just got that yellow mixed with white, mixed with brown, and I am really working this paint color in here. I'm just smashing it. There's no need to paint today. We're going to just smash our brush almost all the way through this thing, okay? Look at there. The pie is coming together. Let's get in here. Smash, smash, smash it. I want this part to be a little darker, so I left it. So I'm gonna add more brown or raw sienna. Add more raw sienna right up in there. And that's why I did that. So I want it to look a little bit <clears throat> more dark. I may even want it even a little darker than that. Yeah, let's get in that, that uh, raw sienna, burnt sienna. Mix it all up, you guys. Just mix it all in, all over. And wherever you see it's dark at on your picture, you want to make that crust look bubbly. You get some of this burnt sienna 
and you come around here and you go ahead and add it in just like that not just dab just dab you guys we're not painting to not this part anyway we're just dabbing look at that pie yeah look at that pie all right so we got some flaky crust up in here um and then i want to lighten it up a little bit from the side of it i'm eventually gonna have to get that white out stop being stingy seven five five You're painting with the kids for goodness sake i know i know you guys i can't help it there's sometimes i just just like to save okay nothing wrong with being a little frugal right so we just put that pie on there like that look at this pie y'all Look at it, okay? No, get your fork out and look at it. Don't look at it with nothing, just your eyes. You got to get your fork and look at this pie, okay? Yeah. All right, so we're going to let that dry. I'm going to take the same brush, you guys, and I'm going to just see it to the side because I got cherries I want to put over here where I kind of miss, missed it. You know what I'm saying? I kind of missed it. Oh, I see it's something else I missed. Let's get that together. All right, for be something else I didn't do, and that's pie is coming. A, it's coming along. All right, and we ain't even been a half an hour painting this thing. What color should I paint my background? I'm thinking here. I want maybe a black. You guys think of maybe a black background would be nice? It'll set that pie off, especially if I put that pie on like maybe a silver tray, black and silver. I like it. Let's go. All right, so. We're going to, whatever you do, you can paint it whatever color you want. Just don't paint it your pie colors because you're going to have a hard time trying to find your pie if you do that. So I'm going to get some black, some Mars black, you guys. Any kind of black will do. You can even get paints gray. You can get anything you want, right? And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint my whole background black, right? I don't do too much black backgrounds. So today, this is what I want to do. It's pie day. So I'm going to go ahead. And this canvas, you guys, in case I forgot to tell you all, is a painting. Is a donation by Songlet Sonya Sigala. Hey, Sigli Wiggly. Hello, everybody from the 755 Media side. So glad you came over today. Thank you so much. So, yeah, we're just going to go around. Now, usually I tell you guys to do your background first, okay? But I'm just going to show you that you can, if you take your time, you can go around your subject matter and not worry about doing your background first. A lot of artists do not do their backgrounds first, but it makes it easier. And so that's why I want you guys to learn the easiest way possible how to art, okay? So, but see, you got to see how careful I have to go around because if I don't, I'll get it on my pie. And then my pie will suffer. Okay, we don't want a suffering pie. Only thing that should be suffering in your food is sacatos. Suffering sacatos. Right, you know what I'm saying? So if anybody caught the pun on that, um, that's something that Sylvester the Cat used to say. Suffering sacatos. So we're going to paint this black. And I'm loving the way it's looking. I am loving the way it's looking. I really am. So, you guys, I also want to do something else that I never do. I always tell you to do something different. So, I'm going to do something else today, and I'm going to show you something else. And so, you, you guys, just make it look artsy. Just go make your strokes all different kind of ways. But the main thing is to cover your canvas, okay? All right? Isn't that looking good? All right, so I'm going to bring it over a little bit because I'm really reaching across you guys. And I'm so sorry for that, but it's just the camera angle for this afternoon. So I'm trying to come underneath so you guys can still see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I'm just going around the plate right now, right? And then I'm going to come back over here because I'm going to flip my brush this way. I'm very really painting in an awkward moment. I, I mean, awkward position so I can show you something. So this is why... You guys, just bear with me. And, you know, you got to give me a little, you know, something. So I'm going to be like, okay, I see her trying to show us at the same time, get it done. So I'm just taking my brush and I'm going along the pie. Now, at this point, my pie is lighter 
The crust is lighter than my background. So I really have to be careful not to go too far over because it's going to be really hard to cover this black with the pie color. That's why it's important to take your time and get it done uh, without messing up. That's why I always say paint your background first because whatever your pretty much your subject going to be, it's going to be, you know, able to cover your background. All right. So when things get out of hand, you can't reach certain things. It's okay to turn your canvas to the side. I am taking my brush and I'm just swiping it at this moment to get the excess paint onto the canvas. Then I'm going to use the cap, the brush to manipulate the paint and bring it over here. And then I'm just going to draw around my pie like so. Just like so. Standing my brush up, not laying it flat if, unless I need to. Okay. And I'm just going to come around my plate and I want my plate to be nice and even because no plates are crooked, you guys, unless it's designed that way. And you don't often see that. So we just want to make sure we go around and we're going to cover this pie up. And even if you leave a little bit of space and you don't paint it all black, like the, you see what I mean? Like a little gap of white in there like that. That's okay. Because you, what you're going to do is fill it in with your pie color, and that way you won't have to worry about going back over your black. Now, I always tell you guys, I'm going to get my plate a little closer over here, too. I'm going to stand my brush up, and I'm going to drag it around, just like so. Okay? And I've got a nice, smooth edge now, because I don't want the plate to be jagged. Now, what color do we want to paint our tabletop? Mm, let's think about it. I'm not really, really sure, but I do know but I do know is that I said I was going to paint the plate gray. That would be nice. So I'm going to get myself some white, I finally. <laughs> I'm going to get myself some white, and I'm going to go ahead and put it right up in next to my black just like so. Maybe about a, like maybe a pinky finger nail full, maybe a, maybe a little more than that. But I didn't. I kind of went overboard a little bit. So it's possible whatever I paint down here is going to include some white. So I won't have to waste any paint. So I got a whole lot of black still on my brush. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab some white with this brush and I'm going to bring it down like that. I just separated it. And now we're going to add this black that's on my brush to this white. Now I got, I'm going to get some more. Now I got black and white on my brush. Y'all see it? All right. So now I'm going to get into the plate. And now I'm going to just kind of scrub my brush away. Scrub my brush in a way that I can get in between all these little nicks and crannies without making a mess too much, you know what I mean? And, and then I'm just gonna brush away, brush it away until I'm getting the gray that I want. See how I did that? Let's try it over here. So I'm gonna turn my paint to the side, all right? So I got some black and white still on my brush, I see? All right, so I'm just gonna push it down over here on this side, all right? And push some over here too. Now I got some black and some white, and it's mixing right on my canvas. A lot of artists will tell you, never mix your paint on the canvas. But in this case, you can because it's a plate, for one. Um, and we're going to, we're going to uh, paint this. I'm showing you different ways to do things. So if you never try it, you can only listen to a person. But sometimes you can try things for yourself and say, hey, it may not have worked for that person that told me never to do it, but it's working for me, okay? So now, so we got the inner layer, the inner layer of this uh, pipe dish getting, you know, coming together. So let's bring it on over here. Work the inner layer. Don't work the rim yet. We don't want to work the rim yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that rim, but we're going to work the inner side first, and we'll, we'll decide later. And you guys may notice I didn't do my sides yet, but we, we're here. So we could just finish this circle off just like that. Say, hey, this is where the circle would go of the dish. And now I'm starting to fill in. I'm not going to got to come through with my black. Yeah, y'all see what I just did there? You could do it too. Yeah, so just take your brush, stand it up. Drag it all around your plate. Make sure you got a nice circular curve motion. 
and then fill in the rest. If you run out of gray, you can flip your brush over and see if you got any more on there. If you don't, go back to your palette and get it. I don't have to go back to my palette and get any because I still got it. I got, first of all, I'm working on a big brush. Second of all, I got enough. Now, if you want your edges to be really smooth, dip your paintbrush in water, tap it off, tap it onto your tile, and then come in and grab it, and then just go for the edge, a nice clean edge. Don't lift it. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep dragging it. Keep dragging it. Keep dragging it to the side. There you go. And when the paint starts to wear off, you all you got to do is just come back with your brush and give it a nice, complete swoop. Just like that. Y'all feel me? Okay. Now, paint slingers. Let's add, let me ask you a question. What is your favorite pie? Yeah, let me know what your favorite pie is. Just shout it out, you guys, because you can't leave comments over here. So, but you can shout it out, right? So now let's put this paint down. See where we at with this whole thing. I think that looks pretty good. Don't you? Yeah. All right. So um the rim of the the dish, we can leave it white. How about leaving it white today? I think that would be a great idea. Okay, so now we're to the point where we want to talk about what color we would like to do our table. In. The table that we're on. I got an idea. Let's make some wood. Hmm. What do y'all think about that? How about, okay, all right, that might be too much for you guys. That might be too ambitious. I don't want to overwork you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's such a lovely piece of pie. And I hate to ruin it by making y'all work really, really hard. I don't know. All right, so what would go here? Uh, let's think. Here, let's see. I'm picking a color, you guys. That's what I'm doing. I have this really, I'm picking a color. You can pick any color you want. I had this really cool color that my sister asked me to buy. It's called Paralyzed Red. It's a Paralyzed Red. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go ahead, squeeze this. I think I used it one time before on this show. And I'm going to go. Jeez, did y'all see that just big splatter? Splatter. So, yeah. All right. So we got some up there. Yeah. That was cool, sissy. Yeah. All right. So let's get a big brush. I can use the same one I was using. I'm going to rinse it out. I'm just going to rinse it real good. I ain't got brushes to be fooling around. I got to clean all these brushes after the show. Yeah. We're just going to use this one. So I rinsed it really good. And now I am drying it off with my towel. I'm going to get into this pearlized red. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Carlos. And we're just going to go around with this. And this is what we're gonna paint our table. So it's like a copper. It's really that's really what it looks like to me. More like a copper color, okay? So we're gonna get in there. We're gonna paint this thing. And, and it's really it's hard for me to paint so low down here, you guys. So I'm gonna turn my cameras upside down. This makes it feel good for me. Yeah, now I can get it. I feel better. Yeah, let's go. All right, so I'm getting this done. Hoping everybody having a wonderful Saturday afternoon. If this is your first time watching Just Kidding, I want to say welcome. And guess what? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Why? Because we just made 200 subscribers this week and we're happy. Yay! So, you guys, I want to say thank you so much from the kids and myself because we couldn't have done it without you at all. So, I just want to say thank you so much. And I hope you guys continue to, to support the channel and, and bless the kids with your presence every Saturday. Bring your kids in. Come on now. They, um, we're always looking for new paint slingers to, to heighten our, our group over here of children painting. Um, some of folks are, some of these kids are the first time artists. They never paint before. And that's fine. We can get you there. Everybody, I'm just tell you like this, like I told you when I first started this thing. And we paint Mona Lisa, and your baby paints something, and I might be not quite looking like Mona Lisa. Well, Kurt, it's the Mona Lisa, and don't you forget that, okay? Whatever we said we paint, that's what we paint, okay? Some kids may have stopped already painting at this particular time, and that's understood as well. 
uh, because our kids' attention span is not the same. I don't expect you all to sit here and paint detail for detail. But for the ones that want to, and especially get their sides, yeah, they're going to come in and they're going to endure to the end because they want their art to look the best. And I also tell all the kids, listen, you guys do not have to paint everything in one section. That's the beauty of record on YouTube. You can always come back and paint it a, uh, another time when you might be frustrated. You can stop, pause the video. You can ask for help with me through email. I'm available to each and every one of you. Everybody has access to 755 Media, okay? So don't forget that. You guys, so I'm just taking my time. I'm angling my brush, and I want to make sure I get that curve just right. And if you don't get it right, do not get upset. Don't storm off and run out of the room and throw your easel down. That's not the way we do things here, okay? You can never get around in life if you do those things. What you're going to do is you're going to just take a deep breath, and you're going to come back to it, okay? And next time you do it, you might get it right that time. But if you don't, you're going to try, try again, okay? That's the that's the spirit. You guys got to try, try again. You, I'm just making this angle off of my plate. See how I got the plate stopped right there? So I take a little angle, and I go at an angle ways upward, and then I come in and fill in the paint. My purse is big, so I'm covering like almost in one swipe there. You see that? But yours may not be as big as my brush. It might take you longer. Pause the video. Paint the part. Come back and start the video again. Okay, I'm way up here. I'm so sorry, y'all. My camera is down lower than I didn't it's usually the year, so I apologize. But I just painted this. Okay, and I'm just giving this a few swipes. And I'm going to stop because this paint here, it's it's got a... um. It's, it has a tendency to it to streak. It's streaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it set. See how it's streaky? And that's fine. Yours might be streaky too. Okay? And I'm going to let it set. And then when I'm going to come back for a second coat, but I'm going to wipe the paint off my brush right onto this table. Just wipe your paintbrush off. That'd be less paint you're wasting. Okay? All right. So... Now I can wipe my brush off and give it a nice rinse. And then we we'll switch back to the original brush we had. This one, the flat one. Okay. Remember I told you it was going to come back to it now. I told you I wanted to enhance my cherries over there. So I'm going to get into this cherry thing I got going on right here. And I'm going to go ahead and dab that on in there because it's time to. Don't worry about the rim of the plate. We're going to paint it white. Okay? So I'm going to just dab that cherry in there. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to find more parts of cherry. Oops, I think I should get more red. And put some more red in there. We can mix it all up now at this point. It's going to look good. And see how it looked like it already got cherry pits, like with the, with the stems wells, and they plucked them out in the cherry pit. You see, look, it was no, look, we did that with little or minimum effort. We just patted our brush and we got those designs in there. It's, it, it, I'm sure you did too. I, it's, it's just like, it's incredible. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, well, what do you mean? What are you saying here? We're all done? Almost. <laughs> Almost. We did pretty good. So I'm just loving the way it's starting to uh, um, dry up and then just paint some more. Just pat some more because you don't want no white spots. So make sure you got all those. And that's looking really, really nice, you guys. You are doing a great job. Go back and fill some more of the space in with the pie and the, and the holes if you need to. Um, was this one here? Nah, but it came up a little bit, so we just gonna uh, we just gonna um, push that up there like that. Yeah, yeah, I like how that looked. And then all around in here, this had a little dip up in there too. So I just want to make sure I represent those little dips. I'm looking at my reference photo. That's what I'm looking at, and I am now. I'm really going around and trying to see what the reference photo wants me to do. So I'm just going around and I'm looking, looking at it, and I'm filling in. Like this thing goes all the way across. It's like a big old cherry up here, so I don't want to miss that. I want to put that big cherry in like that, and so it looks a little red. So I'm gonna come get some of that 
quinacridone part, and I'm just going to pat it in. Maybe a little bit more brown than that. Pat that in. Just get it in there. The, I want this to be a little, it's almost like a triangle, so I want to make sure I represent the triangle. And then this part just goes right on off into the black. Just let it go on, on off into it. Okay, look at that. Look at this, y'all. All right, so then I see, I see right here that this is more like got an angle. See, man, it's like a circular motion. This is like an angle. So I want to make sure I try to mimic more about that. Oops, y'all, I got some black on it from, I got a little black on it. Let me wipe my, let me wipe my brush off quickly. Just wipe it off. Don't get mad and upset. Wipe it off. Get back in here and get some more red. All right. And just go back over top of that black. That black with the red makes you make gives you a nice little look too. So don't don't sleep on the red. I mean on the black. That was okay. It was all right. We got it from up there, and that's fine. And so now I want to make this like an angle, just like it is. Yeah, like that. A little sweep of motion to make sure the squares off. See how it looks squares off now? It's like that. See, it looks more like that now. And then up in here, this is more square. So we're going to try to make the angles and make it look square. And you don't have to, but I want to. So that's what I'm doing. All right. So that's looking more like the picture, right? And then over here, I think this is a little bit more open. And I want to get in here a little bit more right there. And I think we're, we can make a, you know, you can just fool with this thing as long as you want to. All right. So unfortunately, I don't have all day to fool with it. You, but you do. And you can take your time and do it whenever you want to. Even if you stop painting, like I said, you can go back and press, press replay. That pie is looking good, y'all. I don't know what y'all talking about. Your pie looks good. If you painting what I'm painting so far, your pie looks real good. Okay. Now this part up here, remember with the white, I left it. I didn't go all the way to the. I took the black and I didn't take it all the way to the pie. I'm glad I did. So I'm gonna show you something. Rinse my brush to get the red off from all the cherry. And I ain't gonna even lie, y'all. My mouth is watering. So we are gonna get back into our brownish color. I'm just dabbing it, man, because it started to dry up a little bit. So I'm just getting into there. I'm going to come up here to the top, and I'm just going to dab that until it touches that black. Touch it, touch it, just barely touching it. And then we're going to go around the whole top of this pile like that. Just go all around the top of it so you don't have no white. Okay? Now, I think the pie is ready. Let's get the plate together. Let's rinse out. Rinse really good. Because now we're finna get into some white. If you have a, uh, another color, if your water is too dark or getting too many colors in your water, go ahead and just get yourself another brush and dampen it. Get into your white. I'm just dabbing it. Don't go all the way to the fur or the brush, which is right here. Just go right to the tip. We're going to come around and we're going to get this white. And the reason why he's saying probably like, it's already white. Why are we painting it white? That's that's not, that doesn't make sense. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because you have no paint on this canvas part right here. It's just naturally white from the manufacturer. And what's going to happen is with it not having paint on it to protect it, it's going to start to yellow as soon as the sun hits it. It's going to start turning yellow, and you're going to be like, three months from now, a month from now, whatever, how long it might take. You're going to say, what's wrong with my painting? Something is on it. No, ain't nothing on it. That's the problem. You got to put the paint on it. So always paint your whites white, even though they are white, even though your canvas is white. And some canvases, to be told, uh, you can buy black canvases, okay? So if it was black canvas, you're going to have to paint it white. So I might be going out of line. My hand is not as steady as it should be because I'm crossing over painting across like this to you guys. Now I'm going to turn my canvas so I can get a nice, easy, clean 
swipe of this white right here underneath. Make sure you cover you guys because you're going to be sorry if you don't. You're really going to be sorry when that sun hits this canvas and start turning to yellow. And so come on around with your white over here too. Like so. Hey, you might get some on your gray, but you can fix it. All you got to do is go back in there and do it. Now, I'm done. At this point here, we just got to paint our edges around the top, all black. So get your black and get the paint. Get the paint. On this side, you don't have to save room for the white because the, the um, I'm sorry, let me turn it like this. Because the paint, the picture is off centered. Everything you paint do not have to be centered in the center. There is a rule of thirds that one does follow from time to time. You should follow it all the time. And we'll explain that in another uh, segment of Just Kidding. It's a little complicated, and I'm not going to lie. That definitely is a subject. Oh, I messed up right here. See, I messed that. Got that black on my. So I can either come around with this black like this and try to smooth it out, or I could go back and repaint it white. So I just try to smooth it out, and I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. It's not going in the art gallery. This is going in our Just Kidding collection. I'm not saying I don't care about what y'all do, and I do care. But I'm just saying. About that rule of third, though, that is definitely going to be for the not a beginner. It's not a beginner conversation. So I'll be having that conversation with you guys a little bit later. And uh, when the time is right, okay? Then you can also learn about it on your own by going into Google. And you can search up the rule of thirds. And it's going to tell you about it. It's going to tell you more than you want to really know. And that's the truth. But when you learn it, woo, it's going to be something else. You're going to be something else in the art world. So I'm just getting in here and I'm coming around like I got a little top of that dish. And I'm going to, I'm, hope I didn't move it too far. Oh, you guys, can you guys see? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see. Okay, so I'm just making sure because I am in an angle. I am in a bent over position painting this for you guys. I am really bent over, honestly. And it's okay. I don't care. I'll do anything for you guys. So we're going to just smooth it out, make it smooth as we can. And this will require a second coat, ladies and gentlemen. If you if you want your painting to look good, you go ahead and put your second coat on here. For the sake of this video, I will not be putting a second coat on here. But you make sure you put yourself a second coat. And I say that, and I wish I was, I hope I was in the camera. And I say that because... You, you got to learn how to paint where your clients are going to be happy, you guys. You know, I mean, if you want to just do this for a hobby, that's fine. But if it's something that you think you might want to do in your life, you got to learn how to make this thing pop. Make it do what it do. Okay? I'm just going to try to see if I can get any more black paint off of here because I see that this is a little, this, even though it needs a second coat, I'm just going to run over it with the wet black brush. Wet black brush to see if I can tint it and smooth it out and make sure that I don't have too many streaks, you guys. So that's my purpose for doing what, I, what you see me doing. I wet my brush. I went back into my black. Now I'm just trying to find any spots close to this pie, particularly that I need to just go back over. And I think I found everything I could with the amount of paint. And I'm just going to brush until I can't brush nothing else off this brush. And I think that we're good on the black for now. That, because I'm not doing a second coat. If I was doing a second coat, boom, it's going to be busted. And I think the fact that we picked a black background with this cherry pie is super, super awesome. I really do. We've been painting for 54 minutes now, and I'm ready to sign this thing. I don't know what y'all doing. Now, I can't take this. I do have some of this left, and I could go back in here with a second coat and try to make that look a little less streaky, 
And I, I'm just going to do it because I had a paint and we have a few minutes. So why not? Right? So I'm just stand my brush up, go around my plate. And I just try to get that all nice and smooth, nice and pretty. Okay. And get that. And, and, and for the most part of it all, I'm using up all my paint and it's not sitting up here drying and getting trashed. Okay. I might want to dip my paintbrush in a little water and scrub up in here on my palette. Now, my palette is glass. So I can, um, I can do that. And you might be able to do it too on your plastic palettes. But if you can't, it's okay. And I just used, and I used my brush and I gathered up as much paint as I could. I brought it over to my canvas and now I'm spreading it out in all directions and therefore and what have you. You know what I mean. All right. So I just want to get my sides if I can. Oh yeah. I got, I got a little bit on my sides. And I did that. But like I said, a second coat would be the best. So if you want to put one on, you make sure you do. All right? So I'm putting my brush in the water. Now let's add some highlights. And I know you like, girl, I thought you was through. 755. Aren't you 755? thought you were finished. Never. Well, you can finish. You can say you're finished when you say you're finished. If you say you're finished, then you are finished. If you don't say you're finished and you want to keep on um, painting, you can. So I'm, I'm finished, but we want to put these highlights on, you know. I'm going to find my detail brush. That's the smallest brush in my arsenal. Look how little it is. You can barely see it. There it is. Okay. Who did this? Ah, no. Nah. That comes from me doing my side. And you can do that on your side. You'll get some paint on your hands, too. So now, I got a little bit of this white right here still left. I'm going to come through here, and I'm looking at every cherry. See them little white dots? See them? Lines right here, right there. All those little dots. I'm about to do this. Now, watch how this paint turns from this to almost lifelike. Okay? So, we start in one area. I see a dot here. So I'm gonna put one there. And, and 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 I really don't have to do white, white. I can add a little color to it. And like one of these colors down here that we already have fooled around with. And I probably done dried it up now. Let's get a little raw sienna in there. Just a little bit. Now it's changed from white into like a really light base. So I won't have that shock factor. Okay, so you just go over it. I'm if I see something here, I see something here, and another one there, and this one like a bowling ball right there. So I'm put that on there, right? And you're gonna see this paint start to, it's gonna, it's gonna look real. It's gonna be like, oh wow, you know. And these are your highlights. Everything has highlights and lowlights. I tell you that all the time. So you're going to find them, whatever this picture says they are. If you if you don't want to paint that way. You can paint your own, but it's, you you have a roadmap already. So let's get into the roadmap of it all. Let me see if I can bring y'all closer now that I'm not painting that other stuff. Yeah, let's see if we can get y'all in for the closey wosey. Ooh, yeah. All right, let's try to straighten it out. There you go. All right, we got you in for the closey wosey. All right, so now y'all starting to see all these little white marks I'm adding. All right, so I'm just adding them in. I see this got a little cherry, got a little something, something right there. This cherry got a something like that. Got something in here. I'm just keep looking at my reference photo, and every time I see something, I mark it in there. I went a little overboard with that one, but it's okay. So I put this in there like that. Boop, boop. A cherry. Them, come on over, don't let the paint drop. This guy, something is oozing down, boom, boom, oozing down, like so. A little swipe right here. Y'all see it? Y'all see it starting to happen? Okay, then that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. This this cherry got a smile. I'm gonna put a smile on it. This right here behind up top, it got a smile and a frown. I'm gonna put that on there, and it got a little dot right here. 
Right. So just have fun. Find the little dots and swipes and what have you. Whatever y'all want to call this. The highlights, that's what they are. But if you want to call them something different, you can. Okay? And you find them and you try to make them look as close to what you see. Okay? Just try to make it close as you can. This one's got a really big one right there. And it's got a little wiggly right there. And right at the cross line, a little squiggly. And then when you get up in this one, it's got a swipe there, a swipe here. And it's got a little squiggly in there. And, and you can't mess it up, you guys. Don't, don't say, oh, I messed up. If you messed up too bad, all you got to do is just take your uh, your your, uh, your rag and wipe it out, okay? This one looks like it's got waves and the ocean and going that way too and that way. And then when we get around here to the front, it's got a little dots here that comes down. I think I want to get more white in there. And, and then it comes down like, Like that in the front. And then I got to work my way back this way. A little swipe like that. And one here. One here. And a couple of dots in there. And I'm working fast. I mean, I don't have to work this fast. At it, I can take my time. But it's not nothing really to it. So I'm just working fast as I can because, I mean, I'm not trying to. And a little smiley down there at the bottom. So you, the object of it is to have these cherries glowing, you feel me? So this has got like a little Y shape right there. And one little dot right there. And I think that one there. And I did this one already, but I think I want to add more white on it. I'm going to rinse because I let my brush get a little wide. I want to keep it kind of thin. So I, this here, so I'm just going to. Add more to that and add more to that. And I'm done. I'm done. Now, didn't those cherries come to life now? Do y'all really see how they really just start coming to life for you guys? And you can just fool with it as long as you want. Uh, you know, make it as perfect as you want. It doesn't, it's, it's okay. You have a piece of pie. You baked this pie from scratch in one hour. We have been here for one hour and, and two minutes, you guys. At this particular moment, I would like to take my brush, and I would love to sign this painting. Once I sign y'all painting with me, okay? All right. I'm going to sign it right here so I don't cross over. I really want to sign it. Here. In fact, I am going to sign it over there. I, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay. I'm going to reach. I'm going to reach over politely. So get yourself some paint on your tiniest, teeniest brush, you guys. Right? Tiniest, teeniest brush. Shout out to everybody that ran to the store while we were painting. and got some ice cream to go with this pie. <laughs> I love it. And so I'm just going to put in here, Auntie755. As always, you guys. Yeah. I'll pick a long T, yeah, and make two E's, yeah, <laughs> and I'm suffering, I'm suffering in my signature because I'm reaching across, but it's okay, it's fine, you guys, it's all right, as long as you forgive me, I'm okay with it, okay, I'm just going back over my E's and my T. Seven five five, yeah, just like that. Looks so good. Looks so good. I'm ready to eat some pie, you guys. So let's bring you in for a close up. Doesn't that look delicious? Wait till it dries, you guys. It's gonna really look good. Look how fluffy that crust is for y'all. All right. So I love it. Love the black black background. I love the copper table. I love the gray and white dish of it all. Maybe later I could take me a gold and go around the rim of my plate. Who knows, right? Anything could 
anything is possible. So I want you guys to go ahead, get set up. Let's go and check out Mimi again, see what she's up to. There we go. Now we're back. So this is a great segment, you guys. I enjoy every moment that I spend with y'all. But I also enjoy when we can do something and we can do it quickly and efficiently. That way you can get outside and play with the other kids. You know what I'm saying? But you continue with your art journey. And that's what I'm talking about. Shout out to all the paint sluggers in the building. And next week, I'm not sure what we'll work on. You guys got any suggestions? Let me know. We'll put it together. But it definitely won't be food. <laughs> Let's go find something else. I don't know, unless it's an ice cream cone. Mm, that sounds good. I don't know. But here it is, you guys. Ooh, that is, okay, that, that light is blaring. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Shout out to everybody. Y'all remember, make sure y'all put your second coat on. See how this is looking now. Um, you know, patchy. No, we don't want that. We don't want that. We ain't going for that this week. We're all black. So go in here. Go ahead. Well, I want mine all black. I don't know what color you want. But make sure it's not patchy. Go back over it for your second coat, okay? This looks so good, you guys. Come on, now. Come on, kids. Come on, kids. You can paint anything. You little cherry pie. It's good for you. I think. Oh, no, no. But anyway, I'll see y'all next week. I just want you guys to know, congratulations again on the 200. I'm so proud of my tiny slingers that are doing y'all thing. And we little over a year old. We already got 200 subscribers. I think we're doing fantastic. So don't give up. Keep going. Invite your friends over. Everybody, invite all the kids you know to just kidding because we are the bomb bomb, okay? We the bomb bomb, okay? Like bomb pops over here. Yeah, we popping off with cherry pies and bomb pops. I'm about to eat this thing. All right, so I'll see y'all next week. And we'll figure out what we're going to do before then. And if you want to reference solo, you know what to do. 755 media at gmail.com. I got y'all. I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful week. And um, don't eat too much pie. See y'all next time. Peace. Bye. Oh, yeah, wait. You know what it is. Kids deserve All right. Yeah, facts. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm too seven, five, five. Uh -huh. The wait is over. Let's go. Just kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready. The just Let's kidding go. kids are the best kids, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Are you ready? I know that.
so don't come on, Jelly. So I love it, baby. baby. We're artists. We, we art. art. The colors we choose. We use our brushes Wait. and fingers, Wait. too. Wait. We're paint slaves. We slain the paint. Create our masterpiece. Wait. We're cracking jokes. We're stretching out. We do this every week. We paint real things. Uh -huh. And sometimes cartoons. Whip my paintbrush out and then I say, just kidding.